Hi everyone, my name is Scott Santons. I live in New Orleans, Louisiana, and this is my Yang story. I have long been focused on the idea of an unconditional basic income. Since 2013, I've been researching it and writing about it. And if you've ever read anything about basic income, you may actually have already read something by me and didn't know it. I first met Yang in 2016. We were both two people trying to figure out what's the fastest way we could get to UBI. Fast forward a bit to 2017, and we're friends. He visits here in New Orleans. He wants to tell me something. We go to a, my favorite lunch place, and he says, Hey, Scott, I'm thinking of running for president. What do you think? <laughs> I don't want to swear on this video, but suffice to say, I was really excited. So from that moment, I've been, ba I've been Yang Gang. But it's not only about UBI that I think is so important about Yang's candidacy. He's talking about humanity first. He's talking about not left, not right, but forward. These are really important ideas. These are really important ways of thinking. We are so trapped in our tribes and our tribalism. We're letting ourselves be divided and letting those with all the power and all the money enjoy our divisions and we need to get past that as a country. And he is someone who's focused on that. And he's looking at systemic solutions, which is really what we need. So many politicians just talk about these little fixes here and there, but we need systemic solutions. We need ranked choice voting to remove the spoiler effect. We need democracy dollars to wash out the influence of all the money in politics. We need to redefine the way that we think about work. We need to get away from GDP as our measuring stick. We need to actually figure out ways to go forward as a society. And as we think about technology, I think we need to start thinking less about the value of technology and more about the value of humanity. And that's what Yang is doing.